Hi friends, it's time to take your bass playing to the next level and getting a strong left hand, one that you can use that will last for the long haul is so critical to leveling up your bass playing. This is something that people young and old ask me all the time, how to develop strength in your left hand on the bass. I've got three favorite techniques that I'm gonna share with you in this video. Number one is super simple, but I find it so helpful and it is tapping. A lot of people get, maybe most people on the bass, go through a phase where they're kind of flat fingering the bass or letting the thumb come around. And that is just a rough habit to get into and one that's very hard to break. And I found, this is from the string pedagogy world, violinists, violists, cellists do this, but it's really good for bass. Just practicing tapping on a regular basis, you, can, you are not likely to land collapsy like that if you're tapping. So just getting this motion and understanding that when your fingers go down, it's a little more of a three-dimensional motion. It's not like typing, it's like kneading clay. And if you can get a nice tap like that, that is very, very similar to how the left hand actually functions, for me at least, on the bass, which is not like a slow kind of sponginess, but a quick, snappy connection and then a release of any sort of activation. So I don't want to go and keep the finger down. I just want to put it down and then feel like I'm just relaxing as much as possible. So tapping both on the string, but also on the side of the fingerboard, between the strings, in different positions, in thumb position, on the side of the bass, on your arm, annoy people when you're on the train or walking around the grocery store or whatever. Tapping is one of the best ways to just develop the right approach in the left hand and understanding how strength works and how you can be efficient in strength and in weight and in transferring that into the instrument. Give it a shot. Number two is this exercise I've been doing for years. It's called Max's Magic. I don't remember who I learned it from, but it is popularized by the wonderful principal bass of the Cleveland Orchestra, Max Dimoff, and I'm sure he learned it from someone else. I think he told me it was originally called Rings Thing when he heard it. Leave a comment if you know the history of that one. But it's a very simple exercise. You can do it slow, you can do it fast, and it's this pattern. And that is one, two, four, two, one, four, two, four. And you can do it separate bows like I'm doing, and that's great when you're starting out, and then start to slur, like we can slur two. And then you just go up by half steps. So I was starting in half position on A flat, now I'm on A. And you can go different speeds, always starting slow, that's generally a good idea, but speeding it up. I generally start slow when I do this uh, in my practice session, in my warm up, but then I speed it up as I go. And I like to do it on all four strings. And as I'm doing this, I'm thinking about that principle of the snappiness that I was talking about with the tapping. So this is a really cool motion because it combines a little pronation with a little more digital manipulation. It's one, two, four, two, one, four, two, four. And I find that that's a great way for developing practical strength on the bass. I believe that Max, I don't know if he still does it these days, but he used to go all the way to the end of the fingerboard. I generally just go to the harmonic on all four strings and I find that's a great warm up in general, certainly before an orchestra rehearsal and it's just a great way to develop left hand strength. Number three is double stops and that's something that I learned from Gary Carr, the wonderful bassist and educator and soloist and that's something that he practices regularly. If you can play two notes, well, get a good sound, you're going to, it's like butter playing one note. So Gary has a large array of double stops that he does, but I find that just practicing simple things like fifths and going, and you'll notice I have one here and then two, three, four right here. It's great for my intonation, but it's great for just developing left hand strength. And a little goes a long way with double stops. Uh, you can tire out your hands in a hurry, so definitely maybe like a minute max when you're starting out uh, or less, and then you can build up from there. And you can do all sorts of intervals. You can do thirds. And there are all sorts of exercises. I've done a whole video on double stops, which I'll link up to here. But those three techniques Tapping Max's Magic and Double Stops will take your left hand to the next level for sure. And if you want to learn more about that, check out what we've got linked up here. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next one.